Hello, my name is Dr. Abed, and I am the Director of Cybersecurity Advisory Services at the Abed Graham Group. In this video, I'm going to show you how our groundbreaking clinical security analytics platform, CECOM Squared, now has IBM's X-Force Red Vulnerability Management Service Solution embedded and integrated within it. Let's get started. When you first log in, you will see a honeycomb structure. It's best to think of this as a three-dimensional heat map that's composed of multiple hexes. At this highest level of the interface, each hex represents an individual hospital network that we can explore. In this example, we have a 10.x network we can see here representing a single hospital. If a health system has multiple hospitals within it, then other hexes will light up to represent each of these. Before we dive further into the vulnerabilities within this particular hospital network, we have to highlight one more powerful feature, and that's the ability to access CECOM squared analytics. We do this by clicking on the Explore tab. Using this, we can alter how vulnerabilities are prioritized within the heat map based on real-time analytics derived directly from the CECOM squared platform. Clinical risk highlights vulnerabilities using shades of purple based on the potential severity of patient harm that could occur. Organizational risk highlights vulnerabilities using shades of blue based on the potential severity of clinical service disruption that could occur. Vulnerabilities that cause financial risks and regulatory risks are prioritized using shades of green and orange, respectively. Combined risk combines all of these with additional X-Force Red technical vulnerability analytics to provide a single holistic view of risk using shades of red. Since I'm a clinician, let's continue this demo using the clinical view. You now see that the honeycomb heat map will use shades of purple to prioritize vulnerabilities. Let's navigate deeper into this network. When we click on the hex, a treasure trove of information appears. In this network, there are 317 assets, there are 317 vulnerabilities. This is a one-to-one -one ratio for this dummy data set, and we see the highest XFR score. This is the same as the combined score we saw in the Explore menu, which is derived from a combination of VMS technical analytics and CECOM squared scores based on clinical, organizational, financial and regulatory metrics. In this network, the highest score is 190. Next, we have two tabs for vulnerabilities and hosts. Under the vulnerabilities tab, you see a description of the vulnerability or its CVE ID, the number of assets it's being detected on, how many weaponized exploits are there in the wild for this, and finally, on a scale of one to 12, the highest clinical risk score associated with an instance of this vulnerability in the network. Here, we can see that a number of these vulnerabilities score rather highly in terms of risks to patient safety. There are instances of vulnerability scoring at 12 out of 12 here and 10 out of 12, and a number being on a significant range of assets. However, the third one on the list not only scores highly and is prevalent, it is also highly weaponized with 16 known exploits in the wild, as well as having a 10 out of 12 clinical risk score. Let's look further into this. At this subnet layer, we can see many parts of the network have come up as bright purple hotspots because they have assets associated with vulnerabilities that create significant patient safety risks. Now imagine you're an analyst responsible for a particular segment of the network. You can explore further. If we click on 10.151, we can see the same type of information as before, but specific to this part of the network. In addition to the rich vulnerability data, we can start looking at the types of hosts or assets that are being affected as well. As we move through the different hexes in this cluster, we once again review the vulnerability and host information until we reach 10.169, which contains a higher number of assets and the clinically concerning vulnerabilities. 10.169 also has a high variety of IoT devices. 
that could potentially be compromised, ranging from routers relaying clinical traffic through to imaging devices, defibrillators, specialized imaging for nuclear medicine, and plenty more. So, let's explore further. At the next subnet layer, we can repeat the same process as before, identifying our hotspots and reviewing the information within each of these in order to decide where the priority patient safety risks are coming from. In this case, it's in the 10.169.121 layer. We can select this to reach the individual asset layer where we will see a particular hotspot stands out brightest in terms of clinical risk. In this case, it's the asset IP 10.169.121.140. When we click on this, we see the highly weaponized remote code execution vulnerability with a high clinical risk score of 10 out of 12. The clinical risk stems from the fact that CCOM squared has determined that this is not only a CT machine, but that it is used 24-7 for the assessment of acute admissions such as suspected stroke patients, traumatic head injuries, and patients deteriorating on medical and post-operative wards. It has determined this using information it's derived from the underlying passive IoT scanner. Now, at any time, you can navigate back up the network layers by simply clicking on the navigational address bars found at the top and bottom of the UI. Besides the Honeycomb UI, you can also visualize all your results using the Analyze function. By clicking this, you load a page where you enter a simple SQL query that will generate a complete and granular table of results. This report includes all information you need about every instance of a vulnerability that has been discovered and analyzed using both Xforce Red's technical analytics and the CCOM Squared clinical security analytics platform. For each instance of a vulnerability, you will see the IP address, followed by the CVE ID of the vulnerability, its CVSS score, and then following this, there is a high-level description of the endpoint question, such as CT machine. After this, you can see the combined threat score again that captures technical and clinical risk in a single score and is derived using a formula based on all the other metrics you see that come after it in this table. This table is sorted high to low by default using this metric. WX, or weaponization, represents the number of known exploits for a vulnerability in the wild, as you can see here. There are 16 for this particular vulnerability. Utility is another X-Force Red metric based on a scale of 0 to 2 that explains both how likely and how devastating exploitation of a vulnerability is from a technical perspective. In this instance, a score of two is the highest. Next, you have the CCOM squared analytics. As mentioned before, these are all scored on a scale of one to 12, with 12 being the most critical. Clinical risk represents the potential severity of patient harm that could occur if this particular vulnerability in this particular asset is exploited. Organizational risk represents the potential severity of clinical workflow disruption or service shutdown that could occur if this particular vulnerability is exploited in the context of its specific asset. Imagine what would happen to patient flow from the emergency room if the CT machine we had highlighted earlier was rendered unavailable. Financial risk represents the severity of recovery costs, potential regulatory costs, and revenue losses that could occur if a vulnerability is exploited. Regulatory risk captures the severity of intervention that could happen from regulators if a vulnerability is exploited, causing disruption within an organization. It is also a marker of reputational damage. Finally, we have some descriptive commentary from a technical perspective about each vulnerability. All this data can be sorted using the heading or theme of your choice. For example, if you have clinical responsibilities, you may choose to organize data based on the clinical risk scores. Or, if you are a financial leader, for example, 
you may choose to sort the data based on the financial risk scores and so on and so forth. However, as a reminder, the default ranking setting is based on the combined threat score. Besides this, you can also use the specialized search function to look through the data. For example, searching for specific assets and all the vulnerabilities associated with these. As you can see here, we searched for CT machine and we looked for blood gas analyzers and defibrillators. We can see here what would appear and what wouldn't based on what's been detected within the hospital's network. We can also type in specific CVE IDs to identify every instance of these within a specific hospital's network. All of this can be downloaded in the form of CSV files for reporting purposes. And that brings us to the end of this short demonstration video. If you'd like further information, please be sure to visit us at www.arbetgraham.com or contact us at info at arbetgraham.com.